Hi, this is Mike Levine, and I'm going to show you some very cool stuff in the new Sound Toys bundle. Uh, I've got a couple of tracks here, a drum track and a guitar track. We're going to start with the drums. So I'm first going to instantiate uh, Sound Toys. And now the first thing that you'll notice is there's a lot more plugins because they've included a bunch of new ones that they added into their product line after the Sound Toys 4 was released. The effect rack is a very, very cool uh, additional plugin that comes with Sound Toys. And it's basically, it's a container where you can put a bunch of Sound Toys effects all within one insert. You just drag and drop, and uh, you can stack them or replace them. You can change their order. You can adjust the size of it. You can either have a fixed size, small or full, or you can use the auto size, which will resize depending on how many plugins that you have. Whoops, I replaced that instead of, there we go. See it resized. You can also turn uh, effects on and off individually and solo individual effects, which is handy. Anyway, it's, it's very useful. Not all the plugins in the bundle show up here. The little ones like little micro shift, little altar boy, little primal tap, and little radiator don't show up, you have to open those individually. So anyway, I'm gonna start by showing you the, the newest plugin in the bundle. This is brand new, and it's uh, the big brother of a free plugin that they put out earlier called Little Primal Tap. This is Primal Tap, and it's based on an old lexicon delay. It's very cool. Um, so let me put it in here. And you hear it's, uh, we're getting some delay. Right now, these two sides are linked. There's a left and a right side, A and B. And when they're linked, I can change their delay just by moving one of the knobs. And right now we are synced to MIDI. But if I wanted to uh, separate them, now I could get some more stereo effects by going like that. Pretty cool, right? And uh, they have this thing called multiply in it. At each stop on the button, it doubles the delay time, but it also uh, conversely lowers the sampling rate by half. So the more you turn it, the more kind of lo-fi the delays sound, as you see. Probably better to have these guys synced for this. So it's pretty cool. Now another thing that you can dial in some feedback and you can get some pretty good like distortion with the feedback. I'm gonna bring the overall outputs down and then I'm gonna bring up the feedback. And then they have another feature called freeze. You just go over here and it'll just grab a section of it and keep repeating it. I'll hear the effect even more if I make sure that the uh, mix control is set to 100%. Okay, now here we go. So just wherever I hold it is where it's gonna repeat. So that can be a lot of fun. And then um, you also have some modulation controls. Add, add in some additional kind of cool modulated sound. There's a high cut and a low cut for the delayed signal. And uh, if you want to get to the presets in any of these uh, modules in the effects rack, just click on that little red thing and boom, there's the effects rack. So now I can go in and look at some cool... Uh, presets. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, let me go back. Now let me um, put on the guitar for a second. I also have an effects rack on that. Okay, so now let's give a little primal tap. Thank you. 
As you can see, uh, Primal Tap is very cool. And then, of course, in the effects rack, you get all these other plugins. I mean, uh, Decapitator is one of my favorites. Great for adding a lot of fat distortion to drums. You can really go crazy with it if you want. Turn down the output and hit punish. You have EQ controls. Just to show a couple of others. I mean, there's so many plugins in here. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this guitar part. And I'll put in Micro Shift. You want some great detune kind of effects. Now let's go over to the drums again. I want to show you one more effect. Really cool, called Devil Lock. This is pretty one of their newer ones based on an old PA uh, effects uh, processor. There's supposed to be like a, it's supposed to be a leveler kind of thing, but it, you can use it to just totally make your drums or whatever sound pretty crazy. And I uh, quickly just wanted to show you some of the other modules that you get. I'm just gonna go through them real quickly. And I have uh, the effect rack on the guitar right now. Crystallizer is another staple effect in Sound Toys Arsenal. They call it a granular echo synthesizer. You can do some pretty crazy stuff. You get the idea. And I'll just drag it out if I want to move it out of there, or I could stack it. Um, of course, Echo Boy, the famous echo. Um, module the sound toys kind of made their name with you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this as well as well as bread and butter stuff let's see what else of course there's filter freak play a little of that for filter effects let me see i can click on the uh, all kinds of cool filter stuff and what else? Uh, Microsoft I showed you. Pan Man, they have a panning effect for auto pan. Let's see what else here. Yeah, radiator is kind of like a console emulation. Gives you some distortion as well. Tremolator, all kinds of uh, tremolo effects. Phase mistress, phase shifting effects. Okay, and before we finish off here, I wanted to show you one other plugin that you get in the Sound Toys 5 bundle. Uh, it came out a little while ago, but it was not in version 4, and it is in version 5. It's one of the ones that doesn't show up in the effects rack. It's called Little Altar Boy, and it does some really amazing pitch stuff. So I'm just going to have a little vocal line here. So I'm going to show you some of the things this can do. I'm just going to step through some of the presets. Not only does it give you pitch and formant control, it also gives you a drive control for some distortion. So let me just quickly step through. Ba 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 
You do the robotic voice. So anyway, you get an idea. It's, you can link the pitch in the format, or you can unlink them. Anyway, you get the idea. It is a very cool plugin, and it's part of Sound Toys 5.